I probably started playing football about 10 years ago, and uh, I really, I really didn't like it at first. Um, I, th I think the first time I was out there, I just got, I got hit really hard, and uh, I went home crying. Um, I was young, obviously then, but still, um, just, just didn't like it at all. When he was a young kid, I, I really, you know, Diane and I, my wife, you know, we have four kids, three girls, and then Chad is our only boy. We, we really could care less if he was going to play football or not. All I told my son, as I would tell my daughters, is whatever you decide to do, go be the best that you can be at it. And uh, you just try, you work real hard, and don't ever give up. And, and all the attributes that I was taught as a young kid, uh, I don't expect you to be the best. I don't even expect you to play football. Uh, but whatever you do, Dad's going to Dad's gonna support it 100%. You just got to try. And, uh, and he's done very well at that. Chad's just a really... Uh grounded guy you know what I mean it doesn't so you wouldn't guess that you know his dad played in the NFL in that sense but as far as like learning a good work ethic from his dad I'd say then definitely since I was young he made it very easy on me just allowing me to choose whatever I wanted to do in life and uh, obviously I chose football and uh, with that he just obviously gave me everything he could I think the biggest thing was just giving me the confidence in myself and everything like that we were just having a conversation one day and I said you know son what do you want to be what do you want to do you know he said, Dad, I want to play college football. I want to play in the NFL maybe one day. And I said, you sure? That's something that you want to do? And he says, yeah, I want to, I want to play college ball. And I said, at what level? And he goes, I want to play a big stadium. I want to play a big stadium, Dad. I said, so you want to play Division I football? And I said, uh, and he said, yeah. And I said, well, then, son, this is, this is what you're going to here, here, I'll help you create that plan of what you need to do. Chad just got a great feel for the game. He finds the holes. Like especially in high school, I was you know I always wonder like how how he gets so open all the time. But he just got a good feel for the game, and obviously that's something he probably learned from his dad. I mean, a lot of times that's something that you can't coach to a certain extent. But uh, I feel like you know Coach Beebe coached him out throughout his entire life, helped him you know what I mean, learn the things that he has to do to just find the gaps in the defense and, and get there. And like especially in high school, even now. But um, me and Chad always were on the same page, and like even if it wasn't necessarily in the playbook. Chad has, like I said, a good feel for the game where he could just find what he like where he needs to be the opening in the defense. I mean, it's a dream come true, to be honest with you. Uh, um, <laughs> I've been working since a really young age. Um, I remember being outside doing jump ropes barefoot just to make sure I'm running the balls on my feet and uh, just having my dad go out and working with me all the time. And obviously, um, it's it's earned. You know, it's not something you just grow up and naturally become a Division One athlete. Um, so I'm blessed by God to be able to be here, for sure. I've told him from, from the time he can understand that if this is what you want to do and God's laid this on a heart, don't you let anybody tell you can because the Lord will open the doors. You know, he left an awesome legacy, I think, and uh, for me it's just an honor to carry that on that legacy. I don't know if that's in God's plan or in his will, but uh, if it is, it's something I would love to do, for sure.